Water was always very important. Listening to the ripple of it was just life to me. Streams always uh, made my soul tick. I always was annoyed when I saw somebody doing something destructive along the stream. It uh, infuriated me, to be honest. It's just gotten worse as I've gotten older. Some people think that the most abundant resource in Pennsylvania is natural gas, or coal, or lumber. Um, I would argue that it's water. We, we have the most of it of any other state other than Alaska, the most moving water, and it's an enormous resource. Having wild trout in the stream warrants uh, a higher level of protection from state agencies than if the stream did not have trout. We'll, we'll hop in the stream with an electrofishing backpack. It puts a, a low current in the stream that just temporarily stuns the fish so that they're easy to net. Hopefully we get trout, and if we do, we'll, we'll measure their length and weight, and then we'll put everybody back. And hopefully that data will, will go to the Fish and Boat Commission and help to warrant a wild trout listing. Since 2008 and the, the huge Marcellus boom in Pennsylvania, time has kind of been of the essence. We, we kind of need to find out where these resources are so that as permits go through, we can make sure that as that industry moves forward, it's not hurting or hindering the natural resource that we already have in great abundance in Pennsylvania in the form of our trout. From Gumroad up through this entire Grand Central Woods, probably never has had a fish study done. Okay, cool. Well, we'll, do, we'll do one in Grand Central and then I'd like to do one or two of the trips. Um, everybody kind of holds their breath. As, as we approach those really nice holes with the tree down and lots of good cover. Um, but seeing those fish come up is special. And then knowing that you know all those little trout that we find in that same stretch are, are gonna have the, the necessary regulations upstream to make sure that there will be trout, big trout in that hole that get people excited moving forward. Oh, no, it didn't. It's inspirational. When we go out there and those, and those mayflies are dancing, it almost looks like a bunch of little fairies floating around with the sun hitting them. You know, it, it's fun just to sit back, read the water, watch what the fish are doing, and try to make that really nice, delicate presentation to fool that trout and, uh, and hopefully score, score a hit. the old saying, you don't know what you got till it's gone. I think the reality is we don't necessarily know what we have. Uh, and only through exploration and research are we going to understand what we have. Um, because we want to make sure we don't lose something that, that we really need. My philosophy is try your best to leave it better than you found it. 
and that's what I'm trying to do. It's important to me that we protect the resources. If I'm leaving it behind better for Joe's daughter and Joe's daughter can enjoy it for the next 50 years, that's all I need. That, that's, my, that's my answer.